Well, I was just a young cow puncher, hardly dry behind the ears. I think that in a week or two I'd mouthed out 14 years. But I wasn't a total greenhorn, because I recollect as how. I could saddle a horse and harness a team and get milk from a cow. Well, I took this summer lion camp job, where the range was vast and large, working for the regular cowboy named Harry, who was in charge. We rode health and doctored foot rot, spread the cattle on the range, scattered salt and mended fence. Each new day was a change. We batched our meals and cleaned our camp, hung our laundry out to dry. Everything I didn't know, Harry taught me how and why. He was always kind and patient, quick to show and slow to scold. And he had that kind of gentleness, like a horse that's getting old. Well, the boss brought out our mail. And Harry got a card by chance. He said the coming Saturday there was going to be a dance. Harry thought we should make it, so we planned our work to go. So to mingle with the neighbor folk, learn things we ought to know. He said there'll be women of most every size and type I'd find, from those that's missing two front teeth to the lots of mama kind. He said there'll be some about your age you'll be attracted to, but dance every lady in the hall before the night is through. Dance every lady in the hall regardless of her faults. Then ask a girl about your age when they call the supper waltz. Then get your meal and sit with her. Be every way a man. Ask her questions, tell her jokes, try to visit if you can. And then he got right stern of face. He said, listen up and listen well. If you aren't every way a gentleman, I'll beat you plumb to hell. Well, we packed our bedrolls on Old Prince. The Kirby Hall was kind of far. We rode that day to a neighbor's house and went with them by car. The dance was different than most school dances I'd been to. They did the shottage, the Vesuvian the waltz quadrille and circle two. I danced every lady in the hall and uh, paid my buck when they passed the hat. Had dinner with a 10 year old. It wasn't all bad at that. Around three, the music ended and the crowd all cheered for more. I saw Harry gently nod toward the broom behind the door. Well, that was something I could handle. So I began to waltz the broom. And then a big distinguished rancher came my way across the room. He stuck out his hand in friendship, and he opened his mouth to speak. He said, we're glad to have you as our neighbor up the creek. Well, that night I laid my bedroll on the grass behind the shop. I crawled deep beneath the blankets, but the music wouldn't stop. Listen up and listen well. I'd listened up and heard, because Harry was the kind of man you'd trust to keep his word. That's Grown Up Cowboy Style uh, by my grandpa, Chuck Murphy.